I, the teacher, was king over Israel in Jerusalem. I decided to study and to use my wisdom to learn about everything that is done in this life. I learned that it is a very hard thing that God has given us to do. I looked at everything done on earth, and I saw that it is all a waste of time. It is like trying to catch the wind. If something is crooked, you cannot say it is straight. And if something is missing, you cannot say it is there. I said to myself, I am very wise. I am wiser than all the kings who ruled Jerusalem before me. I know what wisdom and knowledge really are. I decided to learn how wisdom and knowledge are better than thinking foolish thoughts. But I learned that trying to become wise is like trying to catch the wind. With much wisdom comes frustration. The one who gains more wisdom also gains more sorrow. I said to myself, I should have fun. I should enjoy everything as much as I can. But I learned that this is also useless. It is foolish to laugh all the time. Having fun does not do any good. So I decided to fill my body with wine while I filled my mind with wisdom. I tried this foolishness because I wanted to find a way to be happy. I wanted to see what was good for people to do during their few days of life. Then I began doing great things. I built houses and I planted vineyards for myself. I planted gardens and I made parks. I planted all kinds of fruit trees. I made pools of water for myself and I used them to water my growing trees. I bought men and women slaves and there were slaves born in my house. I owned many great things. I had herds of cattle and flocks of sheep. I owned more things than any other person in Jerusalem did. I also gathered silver and gold for myself. I took treasures from kings and their nations. I had men and women singing for me. I had everything any man could want. I became very rich and famous. I was greater than anyone who lived in Jerusalem before me. My wisdom was always there to help me. Anything my eyes saw and wanted, I got for myself. My mind was pleased with everything I did, and this happiness was the reward for all my hard work. But then I looked at everything I had done and the wealth I had gained. I decided it was all a waste of time. It was like trying to catch the wind. There is nothing to gain from anything we do in this life. Then I decided to think about what it means to be wise or to be foolish or to do crazy things. And I thought about the one who will be the next king. The new king will do the same as the kings before him. I saw that wisdom is better than foolishness in the same way that light is better than darkness. Wise people use their minds like eyes to see where they are going. But for fools, it is as if they are walking in the dark. I also saw that fools and wise people both in the same way. I thought to myself, the same thing happens to a fool will also happen to me. So why have I tried so hard to become wise? I said to myself, being wise is also useless. Whether people are wise or foolish, they will still die and no one will remember either one of them forever. In the future, people will forget everything both of them did, so the two are really the same. This made me hate life. It was depressing to think that everything in this life is useless, like trying to catch the wind. I began to hate all the hard work I had done, because I saw that the people who live after me would get the things that I worked for. I will not be able to take them with me. Some other person will control everything I worked and studied for, and I don't know if that person will be wise or foolish. This is also senseless. So I became sad about all the work I had done. People can work hard using their wisdom and knowledge and skill, but they will die and other people will get the things they worked for. They did not do the work, but they will get everything. That makes me very sad. It is also not fair and is senseless. What do people really have after all their work and struggling in this life? Throughout their life, they have pain, frustration, and hard work. Even at night, a person's mind does not rest. This is also senseless. There is no one who has tried to enjoy life more than I have. And this is what I learned. The best thing people can do is eat, drink, and enjoy the work they must do. I also saw that this comes from God. If people do good and please God, He will give them wisdom, knowledge, and joy. But those who sin will get only the work of gathering and carrying things. God takes from the bad person and gives to the good person. But all this work is useless. It is like trying to catch the wind. There is a right time for everything and everything on earth will happen at the right time. There is a time to be born and a time to die. There is a time to plant and a time to pull up plants. There is a time to kill and a time to heal. There is a time to destroy and a time to build. There is a time to cry and a time to laugh. There is a time to be sad and a time to dance with joy. There is a time to throw weapons down and a time to pick them up. There is a time to hug someone and a time to stop holding so tightly. 
There is a time to look for something and a time to consider it lost. There is a time to keep things and a time to throw things away. There is a time to tear cloth and a time to sew it. There is a time to be silent and a time to speak. There is a time to love and a time to hate. There is a time for war and a time for peace. Do people really gain anything from their hard work? I saw all the hard work God gave us to do. God gave us the ability to think about His world, but we can never completely understand everything He does. And yet, He does everything at just the right time. I learned that the best thing for people to do is to be happy and enjoy themselves as long as they live. God wants everyone to eat, drink, and enjoy their work. These are gifts from God. I learned that anything God does will continue forever. People cannot add anything to the work of God, and they cannot take anything away from it. God did this so that people would respect Him. What happened in the past has happened, and what will happen in the future will happen. But God wants to help those who have been treated badly. I also saw these things in this life. I saw that the courts should be filled with goodness and fairness, but there is evil there now. So I said to myself, God has planned a time for everything, and He has planned a time to judge everything people do. He will judge good people and bad people. I thought about what people do to each other, and I said to myself, God wants people to see that they are like animals. The same thing happens to animals and to people. They die. People and animals have the same breath. Is a dead animal different from a dead person? It is all so senseless. The bodies of people and animals in the same way. They came from the earth, and in the end, they will go back to the earth. Who knows what happens to a person's spirit? Who knows if a human spirit goes up to God while an animal spirit goes down into the ground? So I saw that the best thing people can do is to enjoy what they do, because that is all they have. Besides, no one can help another person see what will happen in the future. Again, I saw that many people are treated badly. I saw their tears, and I saw that there was no one to comfort them. I saw that cruel people had all the power, and I saw that there was no one to comfort the people they hurt. I decided that it is better for those who have died than for those who are still alive, and it is even better for those who die at birth, because they never saw the evil that is done in this world. Then I thought, why do people work so hard? I saw people try to succeed and be better than other people. They do this because they are jealous. They don't want other people to have more than they have. This is senseless. It is like trying to catch the wind. Some people say, it is foolish to fold your hands and do nothing. If you don't work, you will starve to death. Maybe that is true, but I say it is better to be satisfied with the few things you have than to always be struggling to get more. Again, I saw something else that didn't make sense. I saw a man who has no family, not a son or even a brother, but he continues to work very hard. He is never satisfied with what he has. And he works so hard that he never stops and asks himself, Why am I working so hard? Why don't I let myself enjoy my life? This is also a very bad and senseless thing. Two people are better than one. When two people work together, they get more work done. If one person falls, the other person can reach out to help. But those who are alone, when they fall, have no one to help them. If two people sleep together, they will be warm. But a person sleeping alone will not be warm. An enemy might be able to defeat one person, but two people can stand back to back to defend each other. And three people are even stronger. They are like a rope that has three parts wrapped together. It is very hard to break. A young leader who is poor but wise is better than a king who is old but foolish. That old king does not listen to warnings. Maybe the young ruler was born a poor man in the kingdom, and maybe he came from prison to rule the country. But I have watched people in this life and I know this, people will follow that young man. He will become the new king. Many people will follow this young man, but later, those same people will not like him. This is also senseless. It is like trying to catch the wind. Be very careful when you get to worship God. It is better to listen to God than to give sacrifices like fools. Fools often do bad things and they don't even know it. Be careful when you make promises to God. Be careful about what you say to him. Don't let your feelings cause you to speak too soon. God is in heaven, and you are on the earth, so you need to say only a few things to Him. This saying is true. Bad dreams come from too many worries, and too many words come from the mouth of a fool. If you make a promise to God, keep your promise. Don't be slow to do what you promised. God is not happy with fools. 
Give God what you promise to give Him. It is better to promise nothing than to promise something and not be able to do it. So don't let your words cause you to sin. Don't say to the priest, I didn't mean what I said. If you do this, God might become angry with your words and destroy everything you have worked for. You should not let your useless dreams and bragging bring you trouble. You should respect God. In some country, you will see poor people who are forced to work very hard. You will see that this is not fair to them. It is against their rights. But don't be surprised. The ruler who forces them to work has another ruler who forced him. And there is still another ruler who forces both of these rulers. Even the king is a slave. His country owns him. Those who love money will never be satisfied with the money they have. Those who love wealth will not be satisfied when they get more and more. This is also senseless. The more wealth people have, the more friends they have to help spend it. So the rich really gain nothing. They can only look at their wealth. Those who work hard all day come home and sleep in peace. It is not important if they have little or much to eat. But the rich worry about their wealth and are not able to sleep. There is a very sad thing that I have seen happen in this life. People save their money for the future. Then something bad happens and they lose everything, so they have nothing to give to their children. People come into the world with nothing, and when they die, they leave with nothing. They might work hard to get things, but they cannot take anything with them when they die. It is very sad that people leave the world just as they came. So what does a person gain from trying to catch the wind? They only get the days that are filled with sadness and sorrow. In the end, they are troubled, sick, and angry. I have seen what is best for people to do on earth. They should eat, drink, and enjoy the work they have during their short time here. God has given them these few days, and that is all they have. If God gives some people wealth, property, and the power to enjoy those things, they should enjoy them. They should accept the things they have and enjoy their work. That is a gift from God. People don't have many years to live, so they must remember these things all their life. God will keep them busy with the work they love to do. I have seen another thing in this life that is not fair and is very hard to understand. God gives some people great wealth, riches, and honor. They have everything they need and everything they could ever want. But then God does not let them enjoy those things. Some stranger comes and takes everything. This is a very bad and senseless thing. A man might live a long time and have 100 children. But if he is not satisfied with those good things, and if no one remembers him after his death, I say that a baby who dies at birth is better off than that man. It is senseless when a baby is born dead. The baby is quickly buried in a dark grave without even a name. The baby never saw the sun and never knew anything. But the baby finds more rest than the man who never enjoyed what God gave him. He might live 2,000 years, but if he does not enjoy life, then the baby who was born dead has found the easiest way to the same end. People work and work to feed themselves, but they are never satisfied. In the same way, a wise person is no better than a fool is. It is better to be a poor person who knows how to accept life as it is. It is better to be happy with what you have than to always want more and more. Always wanting more and more is useless. It is like trying to catch the wind. You are only what you were created to be, a human, and it is useless to argue about it. People cannot argue with God about this because He is more powerful than they are, and a long argument will not change that fact. Who knows what is best for people during their short life on earth? Their life passes like a shadow. No one can tell them what will happen later.